Okay, friends, I have a little Tabata workout for you today. We're going to do these exercises, and when we do them, um, you just need a mat towards the end. We're um, gonna do some push-ups and then some back exercises, so I do want you to have something comfortable. Um, I'm gonna be barefoot today uh, because I like to work out barefoot as much as possible to work those muscles in my feet. Um, you can try that at home or if you need to wear shoes, feel free to do so. Go ahead and get your watch started. What we are going to do here is hold your arms out and I just want you to step your leg forward towards your hands. You don't have to touch, but we're getting the backside of the legs warmed up as well as the hips here. nice and tall for me and then what we're going to do is we're going to twist so you twist opposite arm opposite leg you guys are probably used to doing this with me already we're just gonna spend a couple minutes getting warmed up I'll give you modifications as we go. All right, we're gonna release here. Now, you can either run in place or march here, okay? If it's too much on your knees, that's okay. Go ahead and jog here. If you need to, you can just march. You can stop anytime. Anytime we're going through the exercises, if you're having a hard time with one of them, um, you can always go back to one of the other exercises. You can always do the modification, stop and rest as needed. We're gonna do each of these basically 20 seconds with a 10 second rest in between. All right. Release here, and then I want you to take those arms back and tap that foot. Keep that breathing going. You're just going side to side here. release. Now we're getting a little bit of a rest. I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're doing. It's pretty simple. We're just doing jacks. Jack out. Okay. Now if you need to modify, you're just going to tap it out to the side. Take those arms overhead. I understand not everyone can jump. That's okay. If you have pelvic floor issues, you should not be jumping. If you leak, during the exercise okay so lower that impact all right ready and jump always stop and modify if you find that that's too difficult for you And we're gonna release. We have a 10 second rest. That is it. You can grab your water here if you need to. All right, get ready for those jacks again or modify, okay? Hold that chin retraction while you're doing this. See, I'm nice and tall. and release here, get a breather. Sip of water. Now I'm showing you what we're doing on the next one. I'm gonna show you modified first. So 
So we're down in a squat position. Looks like this, the butt goes back. And then you come up with a jack, tap out to the side, or you go full jack, light landing down into that squat. Okay, so modify coming up or full jack. All right, ready? Squat down, jump up. I'm gonna modify here for you. Keep that breathing going. Sit it back. And release down. That should be light landings, not super loud on the feet as you go down. A little bit of a breather. We're gonna do that one more time. Again, modify as needed and keep going, okay? Ready? I'm gonna do modify first, up, out to the side, and now full jack squat. Last one and release. Feel free to grab a sip of water. We have a 10 second rest. I'm gonna show you the next one. Again, modification first. So we start here. We're gonna circle those arms out and tap to the side. Okay? Now everybody else, you go. Little jump out to the side. These are star jumps. And come back down lightly. All right, ready? and start, jump it up or tap it out to the side, keep it going. Whoop. Last one and release, good job, awesome. I know we're really getting our heart rate up today. We're also working strength a lot because of the squat and the jumping motion. Even if you can't do the jumping, you're still getting a good amount out of that. All right, so we have one more star jump. I want you to remember the modification as needed, okay? Down and circle it open. I'm gonna turn slightly so you can see me. Last one, and good. We have a full one minute rest. Take your time with it. Make sure you're getting in plenty of water, especially when you live in really high humidity areas, like where I live in Florida, it's 90% humidity. So I will be dripping sweat. Okay, we're going down to the mat now. And I want you just to do, I want you to do push-ups on your knees here. We're going to tuck that pelvis and then keep those elbows in by your side. All right, ready? and start, hold that chin retraction. If you need to do this at a higher surface, you can. You can do wall push-ups. I'm just gonna adjust here. Make sure my hands are up underneath my shoulders. and come back, sit back into child's pose, 
you can release here. We're gonna come up. Now, I know you guys are gonna hate me for this next one because we're doing burpees. What I'm gonna show you though is a modification, okay? So when you come down on your hands, you step it back, then step it forward and come up, okay? No jumping involved. Everyone else is down here. Step it back, jump forward and back and up, okay? All right, we're ready for this one and start. You can modify, step it back, step it forward, all the way back up, or jump it back and forward, pushing up. I actually go down on my fist because that's more comfortable for my hands. Last one, and come up. You have a 10 second rest here. We're going to make our way back down for push-ups. All right, so those knees down on the floor, tilt that pelvis forward and get the back not rounded, but nice and straight here. Shoulders over your wrist and ready. Lower down, exhale up. Oops. Two more. And take it back. Slowly walk your hands towards you. Coming up. We're gonna do those burpees. One more time here. All right. And ready. Hands down on the mat. Jump back, jump forward. You can add a jump on this one if you like. Remember, you can modify. So you can step it back, step it forward, and just come up. One more. And release. Feel free to grab yourself a sip of water here. Okay, so transitioning into our next set. We're going to go into a squat pulse, okay? So you're gonna sit down into it and you're gonna stay low and pulse it out, okay? That's it. Ready, go down into it and pulse. Make sure you have that chin retraction. And we're gonna come up out of that one. You should feel a good burn. Let's just walk it out for 10 seconds here. Okay. Now we're lowering it back down for that squat. Pulse, lower down and pulse here. Keep it going. Make sure that you have that breathing under control and you're holding your abs in. A little bit of a pelvic tilt that can help you. And we're gonna raise up 
walk it out for 10 seconds. We're actually gonna do squat jumps next. If you can't do jumps, again, what you're going to do here is you're just gonna squat down and push those hips forward, squat down and push forward, okay? All right, we're ready. You squat down, a little hop up, okay? All right, otherwise, stay with just those squats with the hip thrust. Last one, and walk it out. 10 second rest. You're going to do that one more time here. All right, and we're in it. Ready? Squat jump or squat hip thrust. Keep it going. Last one, and walk it out. Good job. You have a full minute rest here. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys. We're basically gonna do a wide leg squat version of what we just did. So toes are turned out, and we're gonna come down and pulse here first. And then the next one is going to be out and jack in and out. If you need to, you're gonna stay in this wide leg position and come all the way up in between each one, okay? All right, let's get in that wide leg squat position here. Lower down and pulse. Nice and tall, put your hands out. You can give yourself a little stretch side to side, make it kind of fun. Continuing to squat down, feel those quads working. We are almost there. And bring it up. Woo, awesome job guys. Walk it out. Okay, you ready? Wide leg squat again for me. Down, hold, and pulse. Tuck that pelvis so you feel the lower abs also working with you. We are almost there. And bring it up, walk it out. You've got a 10 second rest. You can grab a sip of water here and get ready for those jack squats, I like to call them. Jumping out and in, however you wanna say it. All right, you ready? Now remember, modify by coming up and down. All right, everyone else, wide leg position, down and jump in and out. Now you gently land, lower down into it. Last one, and release. Great job, guys. This is your rest time. All right, wide leg, squat, and jump in, or stay here, okay? One more, 
All right, good job. This is your longer rest period here. Now, we're gonna come down on your mat, on your stomach, and I'm gonna show you. You're gonna do a swim motion. So, legs are going up and down like you're kicking, and then arms are going forward and back, keeping that chest lifted off the floor the whole time. You guys ready? All right, kick those legs, get those arms moving. Look down towards the floor. and release go back into child's pose here okay then we're gonna do a plank hold if you need to go to a higher surface you can or if we're on the forearms and you start to feel your low back ache you can drop to the knees okay all right, and we're ready. Oh, I lost my timer here. Hold on. All right, ready? And up, hold. Tilt that pelvis, squeeze the booty, and make sure you have that chin retraction. Breathing into it. and lower down those knees come on down great job now i want you to do that swim motion one more time here so let's go ahead and start kicking those legs squeezing the booty and then arm motion forward and back look down towards your mat holding that chin retraction and we're going to release here coming down you can go back into child's pose again and come all the way up forearm plank one more time for me and come on up on the toes, squeeze booty. Drop down to the knees if you need to. And we're gonna lower down here. All right, so I'm showing you the next one. What we're gonna do is arms come forward and then we're lifting and squeezing elbows to the side, back, and then lowering down and squeeze back. Okay, everybody ready? Arms forward, bring those elbows back, lift the legs and lift the chest. And last one, go ahead and come on up. A little bit of a release. Now, what I'm gonna have you do here is we're gonna lower back on our feet and then I want you to come up and squeeze. You should feel the booty and the abs working for you here. And ready, lower it down, hip hinge, 
squeeze forward. One more time up. Hold, low back, lean back just a tad, hold forward here. And release, take it back down on your tummy. We're doing those swims again, arms forward, and then we're gonna bring it back, okay? Go ahead and set up. Chin retraction, looking down at the mat. Squeeze back and lower back down. Get that exhale with the lift. And last one, bringing it up. Go ahead and set up on those knees. Sit back. And you can take those feet flexed if you need to, if that bothers your ankles in, for any reason. We're gonna sit back and push forward, squeeze. Give it a nice good squeeze here. Want to really work the booty, abs as well. Last one. Now remember, I'm gonna have you lean back just a tad. It looks like my screen's crooked because I'm leaning back. Make sure your low back isn't hurting. Squeeze the booty, hold, see, abs are Nice and flat, drawing in. Breathe into it. And then bring it up and release. Grab yourself a sip of water here. All right. I want you to go wide legs and I want you to take it down to the side. Nice, good stretch. Feel that inner thigh. You might feel some right through here. If you're super tight, like hip flexors, the attachment right at the hip, your obliques. You're gonna come up and then we're gonna take it to the other side here. Lower it down. I have 240 calorie burn, 153 beats per minute as far as my heart rate right at the moment. All right, so we're gonna come up, cross the ankles, you're gonna come down, but then what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up. So my, my right leg is in front, my right arm is opening up towards the other side. Go ahead and bring that hand down. Come up, switch those legs. Lower it down again, and then open up towards the opposite side. Go ahead and bring it down. You can come on up, make sure that you stay hydrated, it is so, so important. Add minerals back to your water. You can get some magnesium, um, add some sea salt, 
There's a liquid that I like to use. Um, it's called, um, I think it's Ocean Blue and it's liquid mineral drops that you can put in your water. So um, different ways that you can do that. I can post it in the private group and um, let you guys know exactly what I use, but make sure you're drinking half of your weight in water per day. If not, even more. All right, you guys have a blessed day.